in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayers. How many things? Four. Number one, they continue steadfastly in apostles' doctrine. That is one. Number two, the fellowship. Number three, the breaking of bread. And number four, in prayers. Hallelujah. These are the words of Paul. Acts chapter 2 verse 42. That's what the Bible says. That all of them, this is now the ecclesia, the body of Christ, those that are set apart, them that are separated, them that are chosen, the Bible have said, that they continued steadfastly in apostles' doctrine. That is now the word of God. Number two, the fellowship. When I in fellowship, from today and forth. Number three, the breaking of bread. Tonight I'm going to go to the And number four, in prayers. Hallelujah. Those are now the pillars of a Christian. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us go to the next point. <laughs> because we have finished that prayer item. The second one, it is also very powerful. Who feels that that prayer has a breakthrough? Yes. Because I know someone in Africa, out of this prayer, the chains have been broken. One has fewer. In the continent of Europe, Uko Mutu Ameokuka. The whole of Asia, Uko Pitiya Caribbean, South America, people have given their life to Jesus. Because of this prayer. Because when Jesus was telling the disciples, I have my flock that are yet not of this fold. Nani lazima. He said it is a must. I bring them to this fold. So more are coming in the name of Jesus. Now we are going to enter into another prayer. And this is a good prayer. Say it's a good prayer. What I am reading is actually in your WhatsApp group. Now, if you are not in our WhatsApp group, leo tafadhali, usiende nyumbani bila kuniona. Mimi ndio admin. Are we together? <laughs> so the second prayer is about family. Say family. family. And family, family is good. Because everyone of us was born in a family. And uh, I want to bring this in this perspective. The members of families, they constitute the society. While what we are born in family, on your sister and Ijika society. This Kenya cannot become a country, I'm a state, without something we call people. The sovereignty of a country is found in people. Sisi wa Kenya ndi utunatu. Kenya hakuna Kenya bila wewe. Because they are occupants in this country. And because of that, we are going to go deep in family. And in families, I don't want to say what, I don't want to tell you what to pray, because I have a lot to tell you. But there is the Spirit who is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. And He will tell you what to pray concerning family. Hallelujah. You start with your own, you extend. The family of uh, your, your nuclear family, your uh, you know, relatives, your uncles, pray for those families. There is a lot that is going on right now in this world. Namnaskia, funny things are happening. How can a son kill their mother? Because you are a piki wa kuku. What? There are things that are happening that are crazy. A husband goes and slays his wife. Ama naenda na jinyonga. Atukuzabu a piki wa kuku. I saw something like that last week. It was your media. Kuku. Baba nene. Unazema mimi leo sikai. Kuku. What is that? That is the power of hell operating in families. Hallelujah. There are things that are happening in families that it's only prayer that can stop these things. And that's why I've said I'm not going to tell you what to pray in that spectrum of a family. The Holy Spirit of God, who lives in you, who tells you what to pray, He will tell you what to intercede concerning that family. One has favor. One has favor. 